Uh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I just finished uh, with a client. She's getting married in two weeks and she did her trial today. I think she's got her bachelorette party and stuff today. So this is like the perfect time to get a trial done. So if you guys are getting married, any of you girls are getting married, and you already have your makeup artist for your wedding day, or you don't, but you're going to get one, and they offer a trial, try to do it like when you have an event, either if it's like your pictures, or an engagement party, or your bachelorette, your bridal shower, whatever. The way I do it is that I offer with uh, a signed contract a discounted price on the trial. So, like, you know, in her case, she had her bachelorette party today. So she's gonna, she got her makeup done. And it's basically what she's going to do for the day of the wedding. Or if they decide or if she decides she wants to change the lip, the eye, whatever, then she already has an idea what it's going to look like um, and then if there's anything she wants to change or add or anything like that um, she can get it done that way the day of so I whenever I got married we got married in Vegas I didn't I didn't get to book a trial I think I could have I had the option to but because we were driving into Vegas from California I just didn't have time and I hate it. I didn't, okay, I didn't hate my makeup when I got married. I just didn't like it and I felt like I could have done better. I just didn't want the hassle of having to worry about that. You know, I wanted to sit there and let somebody else take care of it for me because I didn't know exactly how things were going to go that day. I didn't want to be stressing about it. I didn't want to be rushing. I didn't want to be so freaked out that I wouldn't be able to do it myself so I had somebody else do it and I didn't like it it was nothing nothing like what I had requested I even showed the girl a picture and it just it wasn't anything like what what I expected and what I wanted so I was a little dis ugh, I was a little disappointed with my makeup the day of my wedding didn't really have a choice it was the day of but if you are getting married please book yourself a trial so that you know what it's gonna look like the day of and that way if you want to make any changes you can so that's my suggestion based on my experience and with my clients so she had like the perfect eye shape though for the uh, eye look that she wanted it was so pretty so pretty um, one thing that I need to work on is eyeliner. Man, I have the hardest time. I have a hard time doing eyeliner on myself. So whenever I do it on somebody else, it's just that much harder. So that is something that I definitely need to practice. But now that she's gone, I'm just sitting here. Oh, I'm just sitting here watching Sex in the City. I just turned on the TV. I just sat down. I'm exhausted. But, wait. No, I'm not watching Sex in the City. I was going to watch Sex in the City, but for whatever reason, it didn't... The channel didn't change. The heck? Something's wrong. Why won't it let me watch it? Okay, there we go. Um, oh, I'm getting uh, ready to eat because I haven't had breakfast. It's already going to be 2 o'clock and I haven't had anything to eat. All I've had was coffee. So I'm warming up. I'm going to warm up some tortillas and I made some chicken the other day and it was so good. I used like that um, Nolan, is it Nolan Ryan? barbecue seasoning that is so good i get it at kroger so if you have a kroger go to where your seasonings are your pepper your garlic all that and look for the nolan ryan seasoning and get it it's bomb i put it on some chicken thighs like 
boneless chicken thighs and then just kind of let it um, pan fry so good it was so good so that's what I'm getting ready to eat so I'm gonna make some tacos I've got some avocado and some queso fresco and it's gonna be so good I actually need to start getting ready right after I eat I already took a shower thankfully but I can just start getting ready because today we're going to the Cowboys versus uh, Minnesota Vikings preseason game. So I got to get ready, go pick up Roger, and then we're going to head out and probably go have a few drinks before the game. But I'm going to go eat because I'm starving. Okay. So I'm down the street from um, picking up Roger. It is 4.02, he gets up at 4, I'm like 5 minutes away, so he'll be alright. Um, just took me a little longer to get ready. I was like, I had Spotify on, and I was jamming, <laughs> and I was, you know, dancing while I got my makeup done, and, and it was just like, oops, it's uh, time to go. So, like always, running late. Like, I'm always running late all the time. So yeah, he. Um, I'm sure he's not gonna be getting out right at four o'clock anyway, unless they were super slow, which I hope they weren't very slow because it's end of month, and I know they gotta get in their cells. So that is that. But I feel like I'm going to work because. We work literally I can see his building if I walk into our parking lot I can see his building um, I don't think I can see his office but I can see his building so we um we carpool because it just it's easier that way it saves gas and we work down the street by each other so why not I feel like I'm going to work and I'm like, uh But I'm not going to work. I'm just gonna pick him up. And I did my makeup. I think I did a little too much on the condor, but oh well. It'll it'll eventually like just kinda come off a little bit, I guess. I don't know. And I still need to put on my lashes, but since I was running a little late, I just threw them in um, my, what is this, the infallible powder, I threw, I put them in on the mirror side, so they wouldn't get like dirty or dusty or anything, and I'll put them on, on our way to wherever we're going, I don't know where we're going, before the game, but I'll do those. Well, we're on the way. Obviously, I won't be driving. I'm gonna switch over to the passenger seat as soon as I get there. And I feel like I need like a Red Bull or something. Like I'm not tired, but I'm kind of tired because I got up early this morning, dropped him off at work, came back home, and I was cleaning the downstairs area because uh, I was moving. I was going to move my like lights and my makeup stuff down to the first floor for my makeup appointment. So I was like cleaning that up because it was still kind of dusty from when they did our floors a couple weeks ago. And I was cleaning that area up, then I was up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs, back and forth, back and forth, and bringing in or getting the stuff that I needed. So it was like a mini workout because man I was like not sweating but you know that that like feeling when you're about to sweat that's how I felt and I had just taken a shower that was probably one of the reasons why I felt like that too is because I had just taken a shower so I was it was you know do you know what I mean okay I don't know so I just passed the work and they're closing up 
closing up. And I think uh, they still have customers, so I'm just gonna sit right here and wait, put on my lashes. <laughs> 